What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and we are back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire and in this episode we are pushing our troops on the northern route towards Kabul from the west so we may as well begin to uh, chip away at the Mughal strength at the front line as we are landing at other, at other spots around the coast. So let's engage this first army to our front. And uh, this is important because the AI is going to be scrambling to deal with the troops we've landed on the coast but that we also that does mean we we want to keep pressure at the front to prevent them from being able to withdraw armies away to help deal with the threat i mean we all know that most likely the ai is just going to spam a load of units to be recruited in towns behind the line and that's fair enough but at least we introduce a bit of a time delay there Okay, so let's sight our guns. Our gun. Back on the ridge. Back on a bit of raised ground. Let's create a bit of a strong defensive line. And then we can keep our melee infantry spread behind the line because they are equipped with lots of cavalry and camels and we don't really have that much of that so we want to use our artillery advantage to pound and weaken their mobile elements prior to joining the battle there you go those Guns have got a good position, but we have a better one, including we've knocked out one gun there straight away. Ah, well my, my hearts teams actually took quite a good pummeling there. But what I want to do is shoot, pick my direct gun team and have them aiming at a target like these camel mercenaries because a low shot will kill quite a lot of camels. So I do want to keep them at a distance, just for now. Especially as they do have embedded mortars in them, in there, and they do also have those camels. Not camels, they do have uh, Gurkhas as well, which is another good reason to not necessarily push up straight away. Well, what's your shrapnel range like? It's okay. Now keep bombarding that gun team. We did quite well with that first shot. Oh, that might have been plumb on. Okay, let's move my janissaries because it looks like that might have be might be their target rather than my artillery. But I want them to walk into my guns, fundamentally. That's what I would like. There's a large mounted element. Going around the flanks, I'm going to pivot my Israeli to match it. Get my Delhi horsemen ready to counter charge. Yeah, they are going after that unit of Janissaries. Shrapnel shot those Sipahi with the last shot. Yes! Excellent shot. Okay, the camel mercenaries are being engaged. The general's bodyguard aren't active. They're not engaging yet. The Sipahi are getting engaged. Okay, they're not pushing it on the right flank yet. Are you firing by rank? No, sadly not. I don't know if Square does anything against camels, against uh, elephants, but... It's 
deploy my Delhi Horseman on the flank. <laughs> See, they're getting shot to bits by the camels. You guys charge the horsemen, because they're only skirmish cavalry anyway. I mean, you guys have totally charged the wrong way. Send the bashies in. So right now these guys are, folk are firing at the en enemy general, which is good. If I get my bashies through, where's pick his howitzer and aim at that unit of dervishes because they're a bit dangerous. They're charging. Oh no, I thought they were. My bashies would be more than enough to turn the odds in our favour. These guys to run off on the flank. I want them to run out of the way so I can set these guys to fire at will and they won't mow down too many of my own guys. Alright, we have to commit. Danger close quick line, that was a good hit. Let's pick a new target. Drop all your shells in the center. Charge in. Charge in and get the dervishes. So you stay where you are. Those guys should deal with the camels pretty quickly. Okay, they're starting to twig that something's up. Keep the charge going. Get my Isserae here to hit these dervishes because they're routing towards our line. My Bashi's in and my Israeli in against the Gurkhas. Set a new line up there to fire in against the camels. This flank's completely done for. Fold it in. General, go take out their artillery. Throw in my melee infantry. Okay, you guys hit the hit the camels then. Let's pivot this line along. The dervishes have got into contact. And let them. Let's run my bashies out of the way. Because we're about to get some good... Ooh, that's a close hit. Charge my Janissaries in. Dervish is here, routed. You guys chiefly reload and aim at the General's bodyguard. Charge in, I suppose. There we go, they've all had enough. Let's turn off my artillery fire. My heavy by field artillery can focus on the general's bodyguard. We've hit the gunners to the rear. You guys come back and fight the bowmen because they seem to be sticking around a bit better than we thought they would be. General's bodyguard is very upset with what's going on. They're routing as well. Good stuff. Okay, General, come over here. Don't worry about the artillery. 
take care of those Gurkhas. The Bashis charge onto the mercenaries. There you go, everyone's slammed into these bowmen. They're going to go down thick and fast. So I think that's everyone. So let's turn that artillery off. Let's line everyone back up. And let's speed up time because it's only those bowmen and those mercenaries left. Damn right, we're going to continue. Get my cavalry up. Get my remaining Delhi cavalry up here. Just want to focus on the Gurkhas. Because Gurkhas are scary. Don't hit the levy, hit the musketeers. There's probably something else that would be useful to go for over there, but. Big blob of musketeers. You can't do too wrong by hitting those. You men charge the dervishes. Keep hitting these men. I mean, losing a handful, but not enough. There we go. Sometimes you have to give them a new order, stop them from just running along next to the uh, enemy. Okay, my general, you go hit that unit of bowmen, because these guys are going to finish off. I'm going to lose some of them to spikes. There we go. Now we're the far side. There's two up here and there's two down here. Whereas my general... He's got a few more to deal with. Okay, so it's down to three men here. Now they're charging back down to kill the guys at the bottom of the hill. They've been knocked out. And now let's make sure they run around. That's that cavalry defence to make sure they get him. General's finished those chaps off bye bye Mr Dervish there he goes success for our troops so that is Makarab Hassan's force denuded and sent packing along the northern route there is another one so you may need to replenish before trying to tackle Kumar Hassan. Let's do some economy upgrades. Let's send... I might send you actually up this direction because Kabul is, looks like it might be a bit of a tough nut to crack. You're going to go finish off that raiding Persian army. A couple more armies are on the way. It's pretty good. So I'm kind of just ignoring this problem. Although... Oh no, it's New Spain. Don't worry. Oh, uh, okay. So you are waiting for new stuff to arrive, I'm fairly sure. Yeah. Two new howitzers. There we go. So there is there is a bit of a bottleneck developing. In the speed of getting my troops around the speed of getting my troops into the Middle East, but that's what we can deal with. There we go. You also follow the northern route. So that's three unit, three armies we've got coming in. Hot, we've got new more spies coming in as well, which is great. Lots of Mughal spies. So apart from this unit here, got a good navy in England. So you're quite valuable. To, you keep stay embarked in Portsmouth. Tangier force to the south, which I'm probably going to steal. Oh, I suppose they really need guns, don't they? They need 
artillery. Yes, that's exactly what they need. Um, you'll be enough to knock out these Spaniards. They've got a good amount of numbers, but the quality is pretty poor. So you've pushed up to Ahmedabad. You could you could probably stand to push forward and hit Ghazi Udinpani. Knock them out and get a bit more support around the Ahmedabad pocket. You need to so still pushing west. Okay, upgrading there. You guys are ready. Well, soon to be ready. Not quite sure where I'm going to deploy them. Probably somewhere to get ready to fight Mysore, or maybe do I land them and land maybe at Cuttack or Calcutta? But I think what I need to do is take. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. Let's get them some battle experience against this Mughal force. We can then begin to. Uh, well, we. I've I've made a push around Ahmedabad. I need to support it and expand my bridgehead across the river before they have the ability to stop me. And it will take some time. We do have reinforcements coming in, but not as fast as we would like. Okay, good. We've got. Okay, let's only do three Nizam. In the center. Got a good amount of cavalry and mobile elements to chase down the fleeing troops. Let's fall, tilt you guys back a bit to make sure that you don't interfere with their field of fire. Then on each flank we can get a Nizam, a Janissary and a Grenadier unit. Great stuff. I mean I might have to push the right flank up a bit because that's not a great position. Camels and Mamelukes on one flank, General and Mamelukes on the other. Janissaries behind the artillery. Then strategically place out some howitzers. So let's line. Let's push the right flank up a bit. And let's see what. What do we got? The bulk of their force is on my left, which isn't great. They're all firing quickline, which is excellent. Okay, so let's begin our... Begin our own pivot. The artillery is probably in a good spot there to stay firing at range. Uh, come on, deploy properly, you devils. You guys need to get out. If you're going to get out that far, you need to get out there quick. So these guns are going to continue to engage their artillery from range. Yeah, they are going to be quite overwhelming, overwhelming on our left. Let's make sure our howitzers are shooting at suitable units. right now we're not going to be struggling to beat them on the right actually where's our leftmost set of guns let's get you specifically hitting someone a bit further on the left maybe those sea quarriers okay good we're starting to make inroads so you men Stay on the slightly better ground, but push up. Make them run, just to make sure we get them into position. So I've got one gun. I've got one gun firing round shot at their artillery from range. I've got this set of guns firing shrapnel shot, although they could probably fire regular shot as well. 
let's make a this side make the left flank a bit more coherent there we, go. we start getting shots off will that provoke them to push or will it provoke them to reorganize I mean, I'll take the free shots against the against the dervishes. I want to keep my cavalry handy because I'm pushing up a bit aggressively with not too many units on the right flank. I might want to get some janissaries over there to help them out. Just out. So the Zamandari horsemen look upset. They are getting ready. The left flank is going to be a bit dodgy. I might want to focus more of my artillery fire and thinning that flank out. Okay, here they come. right across the front camels hit the dervishes you guys keep running along you guys probably hunker down here okay those those guys should be getting a big kick in the pants from from the quick line my camels have charged those dervishes in the rear my Janissaries have got those dervishes. This front is in general a bit vulnerable. But that's why I've got my howitzers focusing on them. Keep my camels moving. Keep my Mameluk guards moving. My infantry. Bring this flank in. Throwing my Janissaries in. Mameluk guards can shatter the bowmen. General's bodyguard can take out the Sikh warriors. Let's pick new targets. Okay, get the Janissaries charging in. The Mameluk guards have upset the bowmen. Camels running out to get their cavalry to the rear. You guys keep running. Switch my field howitzers to round shot. Pluck, pick away at the general. You guys finish the dervishes off. You guys reform. These, begin these guys curve that section of the line inward somewhat you guys were all well, one of you were set to charge these bowmen but they decided not to do it you men advance up past the combat So where'd my other Mamluk guard unit go? Okay. You guys should tear those dervishes. Some hurt. I should give them some hurt. You don't tear them hurt. You give them hurt. All my artillery switch to round shot. Engage the general's bodyguard. Mamluk guards. Take them out. Bowman, man. It doesn't help that they're all attacking from the same direction. You want them to be surrounded, if at all possible. It does also make them easier to uh, to annihilate afterwards because whatever direction they run, they're running into your troops. Okay, 
I might get these... Oh, I don't know, I need to get the Mamluke guards out of there. There you go, you guys hit the bowmen, these men push up to help out. Stop all my artillery from firing, it's now a bit too close to my camels. Damn right, we're going to continue. I mean, we've already killed the general, but I may as well go after his camels. Can you go after those bowmen? The camels go after these bowmen. I don't think we're going to catch up and destroy as many of these units as we would like. But we are going to do some really really good damage to that army which is what this this whole type of thing can be about really you can't it feels like there must be some calculation where if you do enough damage the entire stack disappears and it doesn't rely on actually wiping units out yeah, that, that's how it feels at least There we go. One last man of the levy. There we go. That was a pretty nice victory there. So we pushed up our line, engaged them, annihilated them. Holy hell, that was. That was great. Back you go. So now you replenish. Narun, you need to keep your road building campaign going strong. You guys might actually push up to the Great Fortress. You guys have got the river crossing covered. You're coming down on foot to chase them. One of these armies... I might run them down. Actually, is it easy to run them? No? Get down to Basra. If you're going, if I'm going to send you to join the south, this fight here, I'll run you to Basra, then ship you over by sea. But I do want a lot of, a good amount of strength in the north. Although I could probably stand to send two armies down south to help support this breakout. Realistically, I need to send you to hit. Uh, Muazin Rathor, because I don't want. A small stack next to this city after I've just captured it. Especially when I know there's a couple of big enemy stacks nearby. Mughal power relies on being on overwhelming. So yeah, too too many stacks in one area. Sooner or later your guys just run out of ammo. Then you join the melee fight which is bad because that's what they want to do. In reality you want to try and... Oh, you need to maximise your fire. That's exactly what I intend to do, because they've got a small force. Well, I'm going to go offensive here. So my field artillery is in the back, somewhere nice and safe. I've got not a huge... well, it's a pretty big infantry line actually. A pretty good line of melee troops and a whole bunch of cavalry coming to say hello. They're aware. It looks like we are going to be marching up a bit of a pass. But it's a pass that we can just f absolutely fill with muskets. As well as keep our cavalry. Ooh, is it? Cavalry guards. That's not so great for my cavalry on the left. Ooh, 
lances and lances. Lances are okay. Especially when they're going to get quick climb to heck. Shotgun range isn't great. So you aim at those Hindu musketeers. You aim at those musketeers. You aim at probably those horsemen. You drop into square. A big old cavalry push. Send for the Janissaries. You men take out the cavalry guards. But this is the prob- okay, oh, right, okay, one thing I might want to do is drop it on that spot of land right there. Yeah, that was exactly what I wanted to try and avoid. Join the battle! You charge the bowman with the general. Same with you. Stay out of square. We've been chop. See, they've managed to break the square, but at great cost. And our janissaries have done a good job at chopping them back in peace. There we go. Our Delhi horsemen have come in, and it's going to be slaughter in the Maratha ranks. Stop our artillery fire completely. Run my Sipahi into the rear of this combat here. Beautiful. So that's completely shattered this action over here. Let's turn the Field artillery off. Let's get some of our cavalry out and crash into the back of these Hindu warriors. Okay, Delhi horse. Aha! Still a target. All this cavalry get over here because we want to start chasing down some of these guys. So this will be will have been much bloodier than than it needed to be, especially with my Delhi horsemen of fire at will upsetting their people. So let's try and you guys all run there. The artillery stop. Oh no, sorry, you've got orders. You do have orders. How it says drop round shot on the general's bodyguard. So the units that ran behind us will get some safety. The enemy general has been killed from artillery fire and now all that's left is for the cavalry to chase down and annihilate as many of these routing troops as possible. Damn right, we're going to continue. Ah, some infantry guards over there. We're going to send one of you to go get them. Ah, oh, damn, we routed. They successfully routed. Let's turn the artillery off. Okay, this is the only unit left on the board and they've they've gone. It wasn't a close victory. I mean it was a 
It was a bit sketchy when there was a massive blob of troops running over into my line, but they did leave their flank completely exposed from all of my cavalry. So it wasn't a terrible loss. That Janus, that Janus unit got absolutely smacked by quickline. Um, hmm. I'm going to knock down this brothel, so I'm going to re replace it with a good... Actually, no. Oh, uh, you're 100% Islam. Uh, yeah, I'll allow it. I'll keep it. So those are being repaired. I can't really do any more fighting yet. Timahan Naili, attacking general. The one we couldn't pronounce. He's also become a better general. The best general currently sitting in Ahmedabad. Oh, I've actually, that's my best general. Mithat Darnat. I remember him. Well, I've got some good generals. Ah, there we go. Ahmad Siri, he's been there since... He's been here since the start, I think. Mahmoud Riza. They, both these armies have been here since the start. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to do. Apart from North America shenanigans, we could do some of those. So we've combined these troops. If we leave Montreal, you are happy. You men march on towards Cayuga. Montreal, recruit. Can't really recruit anything. Start to recruit some Nizam. Upgrade the Madrasa, because I would like a Islamic priest to spawn. All the way up here in Rupert's land. Let's build another Madrasa. Again, I'm not maximising my income the way I could be if I was upgrading all these things to economic buildings, but Eh. And then down here in America. First of all, let's upgrade the plantation. Let's make sure the roads are popping. They are. Upgrade the port. So let's take a sloop. Sail the sloop over to Port of Pay. Take the army. Mr. Nedim. Get him embarked aboard, embarked aboard ship. Who is in Port Royal? Wow, oh, a tiny army. Will you give it to us for free? Okay, well because it's a bait, it's pretty much a nothing army, I'm just going to take it. If it. Even if it was a decent sized pirate army, I'd still, I would have fought it, fought for it, but... Eh. Abundant yield sugar plantation. Let's put a steam powered mill there. Good, there probably won't be nothing in Cuba. We're starting to nip away at the British possessions. I mean, I don't really get a good garrison out of... I don't even get any, my basic line, Semini, it's a mob, it's not great. So I'm not going to bother to build defences. You're replenishing. You can't move still because everyone hates us. Yeah, minus seven. I'm going to keep you there for now, but let's start to recruit some Semini to act as a bit of a garrison. I mean, we've just used up all their population. Um, okay. So let's hit end turn. As our great armies and our spies begin to surge forward. Oh, there's a madras in, in uh, Madrid I need to upgrade. So I know it seems a bit lazy just to have leave everyone running around, but it's nice to have it be a bit automatic. I've not got to micromanage the movement of so much stuff. New Spain just beat some pirates, and they're going to chase them down. That's very handy. But New Spain must be aware that soon their time will be over. Ooh! They've marched out to hit us, and they're going to draw all their forces into battle. That sounds fun, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for already something a bit different. Some fighting in the Americas. Cheers everyone.